<laughs> Just looking for you. You should come down though. No, no, I, I couldn't spot you. I thought you. <laughs> Anyone else? There's someone else here. Um, um, my name is Avery Kohlers, and I'm working with um, Russ Vandenbrook, who, uh, who declined to call on down here. Um, <laughs> and Kelly Kinahan, who was here. Did she have to leave? Yeah. She had to leave. Um, and Priscilla McCutcheon, who um, is, uh, I think, not here today and also is unfortunately leaving for UK. Um, and uh, Drew Tucker in um, uh, Urban Public Affairs. And two undergrads, uh, Molly Bills and Logan Stearman. I don't think, are they here? Any? Um, so, uh, and we're working with uh, Kentucky Refugee Ministries and Fellowship of Reconciliation, and um, we may try to expand that at some point. So our um, project is built around, um, it's, it's humanities forward. Um, uh, it's built around uh, this uh, theatrical production of, of uh, or theatrical adaptation of a novella by the Palestinian uh, writer of Hassan Kanafani, who wrote this uh, uh, novella called Returning to Haifa, about a family who um, had uh, been displaced in 1948 um, with the, uh, in the Battle of Haifa, a Palestinian couple, and um, they find themselves eventually in Ramallah in 1967, um, and after the 67 war, the border is opened, and they go back and visit their old house, and they meet the woman who lives there now, who is a Holocaust survivor herself, and uh, her son. Uh, and it's a, it's a powerful sort of meditation on uh, loss and loss of home, displacement, um, estrangement, um, and knowing, uh, knowing a place and not knowing it. Um, and so it's a very particular story, um, but it's also uh, in many ways a, a universal story. And um, the more we talked about it, the more we recognized that it's, um, it's connected to uh, issues that have been a front and center in housing policy here. Uh, so much of American economic development has been built around the idea of displacement, non-voluntary, involuntary, and voluntary. Um, and I think, I think a, lot of, uh, a lot of the displacement of, uh, the involuntary displacement is connected to, is, is closely connected to uh, people who are displaced from elsewhere, uh, being able to find a new home. And, that, and so those themes that are front and center in Haifa um, uh, are also front and center in the United States. And so we, we, um, uh, we want to connect this to uh, housing, uh, what sort of housing policy, as I said, um, particularly the, the HOPE 6 program, um, which was built on the idea that um, you could, you could create hope in an area um, by redesigning public housing, um, but it, it, was a, it involved radical reduction in the number of people who could be there, and so it was essentially tied to displacement. And so we hope to use productions of this play or, or uh, readings, uh, theatrical readings of this play to draw out stories from uh, people who, are, uh, who attend the play, and we want to um, particularly go to, um, to areas where there are uh, Hope 6 um, uh, Hope Six developments, um, and, and it'll be hard to find uh, people, and so it's been really interesting to hear stories about, uh, and I want to sign up for Recruiting Community <laughs> Participants 101, by the way. Um, uh, uh, talking to people about their, their experience of uh, loss of home or, um, or recovery of home. Um, so in the first year, it'll be centered on that particular uh, production, that particular literary work, and in the second year we hope to develop um, uh, organically uh, a production of sort of monologues or stories of, of loss of home here. Um, so yeah, um, that's, uh, I don't know, does any, any of our participants have more to say? Oh, I guess the last Drew. Great. <laughs> um, I just want to say it's been amazing to hear like the amount of uh, the brain power and heart power in this room, and I've learned a lot already. And looking forward to learning more. So thank you to the organizers. Thank you.